Sabado. Feliz Sabado. Bon Sabbat. And cheery Kwaila. Do you know how we got those different languages? In greeting each other Happy Sabbath? Let me tell you the story that caused this. The Tower of Babel. Years after the flood, when Noah and his family settled down and have more children, they began to move from place to place. When they reached the land of Babylon, they decided to settle there and build a tower so high that it will reach the sky. The hearts of the people were proud and they thought that they could reach the same level as God, the highest. The pride was their downfall. When God came down to the city, and saw what the people are doing and he became very angry. He decided to put a stop to their construction by making sure that nobody could understand the others. God made sure that all the people there began to speak different languages. Even the neighbors could no longer understand each other. When people try to communicate, it turns into a whole bubble of confused voices. Soon, everyone who spoke the same language, and in this way, they spread out across the world, taking their different languages with them. This is why the tower is called the Tower of Babel. Perhaps the origin of the word bubble, confusion. The pride of the people of Babylon lead to their downfall. The opposite of pride is humility or to be humble. The way you can be humble. So kids, remember realizing that everyone is special. If you want to be humble, remember to listen to your parents and those in authority. Be kind to others instead of putting them down. Read your Bible and do not forget to pray. By doing this, you're not just focusing on yourself. After all, pride causes a lot of trouble. So kids, we must humble ourselves before the Lord. James chapter 4 verse 6 says, God is against the proud, but He is kind to the humble. So be humble always. Bye-bye.